Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. We're off on holiday. Hey, hey. We're going on a holiday. We're going on a holiday. We got our coffee in the car and I'm Where are we going, Amber? Holiday! <laughs> holiday! Yes, we're off on holiday. It's not even an early start or anything today. Oh. You you practically looked into the flights a lot for this holiday. I know. No. I was like, I can't be, like, usually it's like a 6 a.m. flight. Oh, That's yeah. what we end up on. I'm, yeah. I'm not leaving the house of, at, well, <laughs> half three, three. Not happening. With two kids. No. It's not happening. No, we need a good night's sleep before this travel day, people. I feel we did get a good night's sleep as well. Quite I feel, good. I feel. Fresh. I'm ready to go. <laughs> as good as you can get with a nine week old baby, of course. Oh, yeah. Like, I was up several times in the night, but it's same, all good. Same, same. <laughs> same. I think you were snoring through every single night feed, but there we go. I woke up for the first one. Yeah. And then, yeah, I seem to always do that. I seem to always <laughs> wake up for the first one. Yeah. And then manage the rest. to sleep through the other one or two. And then he'll wake up and go, she had a really good night, really didn't she? Good. We have packed for genuinely eight years. Like, I'm we've... terrified that we're going to be way over the limit for every single Yeah, we were just place. talking about our allowances, adding it all up, and wondering if we're gonna be over, and we're pretty sure, how can we not be over? We've packed blooming everything in our life. We've packed the bedside crib, we've packed the steamers, the curlers, the hair dryer. Sorry, Why? Fair, you packed a hair dryer? Why did you pack a hair dryer? They've got hair dryers there. I told you, I need the Dyson brush thing. That's gonna be the, that's going in the bin, okay? If we get there and our limit is over, that's ah! the first thing out and in the bin. Be great. We're gonna travel with two babies and manifesting good, happy vibes. Babies will be on the plane like, mm, 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 yeah. yeah, I just want a little snooze. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna try at the airport to be like as energetic as possible with Amber. Yeah. Lots of fun. Start, she can have her iPad on the plane and she'll just <laughs> love watching four hours of We've downloaded anything. so much good stuff so on the iPad. Yeah. We've got her little trunky. This is the other thing where we went over the top. She's got this like little trunky pull along suitcase. Which is way over 10 kilos, <laughs> which is the allowance for the hope for the take. So like, we're over oh! on hold luggage, Anne. But they usually don't weigh the cabin luggage. What are we doing? So I'm, I'm fingers in crossing. To be honest, that's the first thing to go. That is a trunky full of just like colouring. A little pepper sorry, pig. Sorry. But... sorry. You're keeping your hair dryer <laughs> in which there will be one in the room not yeah. a dyson okay, brush okay and you're you're gonna put back in the car all the of our stuff to keep her entertained on the plane so we're gonna have four a hours screaming out, toddler four hours back having to entertain our toddler but uh, but you'll have your nice hair out my hair will look you along the way i mean yeah that's stupid because i still even just put it in the same hairstyle every have, single you, time you, i go anywhere buy those cur they bought those curlers as well as the no as no. The no no i just have the dyson with the with the bristle brush <laughs> and a massive steamer and a huge steamer Even there'll be an iron in the room well i love my steam <laughs> thing that i wanted to show you guys before we get out of the car and hecticness starts is the lashes i was talking about these in the last video the semi-permanent lashes i have gone for like supernatural i'd love to know what you guys think whether you think they look like good or i mean they look tiny but i'm quite like happy with that vibe and i'm gonna see how long they last obviously it's only been i wore them overnight last night and they honestly feel so comfy which was my main like concern yeah i've just gone for like the little tiny ones which the people usually put just like in the inner bit like the eight millimeter ones kind of like all over so i'm kind of feeling them like i haven't got makeup on today i've just got a little bit of what have I got on? Like lip tint thing, and I put some brow gel in my brows, but that's all come out already because it's rubbish, the one I'm using. And I'm feeling like, you know, fresh, which was the vibe I was going for. So James is checking the car in. He's got like all the suitcases on this massive thing. I have got both gills with me. We have honestly got so much stuff, guys. I've even got this blooming pillow hanging off my bag because of my bruised coccyx. I can't sit down on flat surfaces. So I've got to come with this massive feeding pillow, which I'm gonna have to sit on because I'm in so much pain with the coccyx. <laughs> it's going great, guys. Here. I know blasted. it is so blasted in here, guys. Mabel's having a nap. There she is. It's going well. You won't like Ooh. this. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah. I'm just ignoring the fact that it might be delayed because it hasn't loaded. It should have like put on the board like to go to the gate by now for our flight, and it hasn't got anything there about our flight, so we think it's gonna be delayed, so we're just ignoring that for now. But both babies are being so well behaved. It has been great so far. Fingers crossed. 
Touch wood. Should we have a look at the plane manual? Are we all ready, guys? Oh, right, look at the instructions. Are we all ready to go on the plane? Are we ready? Oh, look at you doing your safety, I like it. <laughs> Checking it out. So we were a little bit delayed. A little bit. We're now bit. up in the air. An hour and a half delayed. But we're now up in the air and we're on our way. Show your new, show your new pad. How to rub it out? This was great, guys. This was such a great buy for the plane. Oh. Yeah, She's been that's playing George. for it, guys, for about 30 seconds oh. and counts as already tooting her horn. No, no. It's been at least three minutes and I'm happy with that. Anything to break up the watching of the iPads? Literally. Mabel has been asleep the whole time. I brought this little pillow, this little feeding pillow, obviously to sit on for my coccyx. It's actually been a dream because the seat wasn't too uncomfortable. And so she's just been lying on it. So it's made me, allowed me to have like use of both my arms, which has just been a dream. Um, and so yeah, she's just chilling there, which is so much better than getting a sweaty arm. But then at least I've got this for the hotel when we get there, because like feeding in the night, so I can't do it without this pillow. So it's a win-win. We are an hour and 40 minutes into the flight. I've tried to dose. Amber's been good as gold. Amber's been great. Mabel's been great. Mabel's been literally sleeping the whole time. She's so happy here. <laughs> Did I tell you my big stress though that oh, yeah. I forgot my wallet? James forgot his wallet because it was at home somewhere. We had a big stress when we first arrived. I don't have my wallet. James doesn't have his wallet. We remembered every other single thing under that we could possibly remember and we both forgot money. So we usually pay with our phones which is why we so easily forget wallets and stuff these days. But then on the flight already, we needed, like they couldn't take contactless cards, so we needed money already, didn't we? Look how stressed yeah. he looks. And I literally, I've got like some euros, and that's it. Like, so we've used them all, basically. I've got like 40 euros left. Gone. And no cards, I'm just hoping. We're in an all-inclusive, so yeah. we shouldn't need to pay for anything. But... And we're gonna sort something out when we get there. We think we're gonna be able to, at the airport, you can like buy, euros or cash with your contactless card on your phone anyway we're gonna figure it out it'll be fine but it's been a little bit stressful it looks like a photo shoot over here wow white background i know say hi guys hi guys <laughs> did you enjoy the airplane yeah oh was it fun yes did we go in the sky yeah oh we did we did we went up high in the sky yeah. The girls have been so good. Um, Mabel has been like, look how tired she is and she's just such an angel. Like I literally had just had someone stop me like, how have you got such a chill baby? <laughs> like why is she just there chilling? And she just slept the whole flight. Like she's just such a chill baby. I don't know what we did to deserve this, but chill baby vibes. I feel like the chilledest babies. What? Are we scared? What are you scared of? You're scared of the airplane? Was it fun? You scared when we were on it. You weren't scared when we were on it. <laughs> so yeah, basically we're now gathering our luggage. We've just done a toilet stop. Every toilet stop now is like two nappy changes. We got to swap yeah, places. Nappy change, actually. Yeah, I've just got out the wipes and the nappy. Oh. Just pack it away. I didn't know what you were doing in that oh, bag. I was no. like, why are you pulling everything apart? The camera was left I just in this bag. pulled out the whole bag <laughs> to get the nappy and wipes and he's just packed them away. So that sums up what every little toilet stop kind of involves. And the second half of the flight was slightly more stressful than first. I'll catch you up properly tomorrow, but one thing was that Betafam nappy cream exploded in James's pocket um, and went everywhere. So that was fun. And then Amber started purposely dribbling her water all down her clothes just because she was bored after four hours oh, on a flight. Well, it was that great. One's that one's actually understandable, yeah. The Betafam nappy cream exploding was just devastating. Yeah, gutting. Right, snappy change time. <laughs> we made it, guys. We've arrived. We've arrived yesterday. I'm just, you're putting your sun cream on. Woo. Getting sun cream on a toddler. I'm leaving James to it. Um, so Mabel is snoozing in her pram. We had just been out for breakfast. We had a bit of like, we arrived basically like late last night. So we literally just got room service, gobbled our food down and all went to bed. We were knackered. Then the girls lay in because they were so tired from yesterday, I think. So they both lay in till 10 a.m. this time. That's only 8 a.m. our time, which kind of makes sense. Um, my giant hat, guys, I'm ready. So we've just been for breakfast this morning and now we're ready to go. So I thought we've gathered ourselves enough to show you the room. 
So we're already ready to go in our swimmers. Just laughing um, to James about the fact I have seven wash bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear about it, guys. <laughs> this is the little bathroom area. And then we've got shower in there, toilet in there, Mabel in the pram. She should be waking up any second now. Our suitcases are still everywhere at the moment. And then this is the room. Amber and James are out on the balcony. Look at this. So, so cute. Got Amber's cot here, Mabel's cot there. We did think she was gonna be having a, like a big girl bed, which is why we transitioned to a big girl bed quite like soon. We wanted to do it before the holiday. Then we realized we booked this a while ago and we actually requested a cot specifically. We completely forgot that. We just assumed it was gonna be a big girl bed, but she was really happy in there last night. Oh, it's falling off. Thank you. So this is the balcony area. Honestly, we just she's so excited. We just have to put her in before we're even ready to get in, but we are all going in now. Um, but yeah, look how gorgeous this is. It's got two little seats here. We had our room surface out here last night. We're drying Mabel's sheet um because she had a little bit of milky sick on it. Wow, Amber. Is it cold? Yes. Yes. Should we go in? <laughs> is it nice? It's so lovely. I can't believe it. Come in. Okay, Daddy, come in. in. Shall mummy come in too? Yes. <gasps> okay, let's go. Amber's putting her little shoes on because James and her are actually going to go to find the kids' pool. We oh. saw it earlier and it looked amazing. They've got so much cool stuff here. I have to show you. We found a park as well that has literal like trampolines in it and stuff. So we've just been spending so much time there as well. But there's like a kids' pool with kids' slides and stuff, and they've I think she'll really like that. For Amber's age. Yeah, they've got loads of things. Amber's age, which is great. Devil. Lucky little devil you are. You go okay. in then. See you later. You can leave, I'll carry your hat, but once we get outside, you've got to put it on. <laughs> She's not listening to me. She's not going to listen to you, darling. Bye-bye. See you later. She's literally like, see you later. She was just shouting that at me. Bye. 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 Gosh, I never wear my hair down. I'm already feeling self-conscious, but it actually feels nice and fresh not to have it up because I've had it in like a scrunched up thing whilst traveling. Anyway. They have gone to the kids' pool because Mabel's still napping, so I thought I would stay here while she naps because I don't really want to have to wake her up. And I don't know, I just feel like I wanted to have a nice restorative nap here. So um, they're going to go and explore that and I'm going to stay and do some things like unpack some of our stuff and organise the room a little bit so we just feel a bit more organised. And also I'm going to shave. You guys know I'm freaking obsessed with Estrid. This video is sponsored by Estrid. We've worked with them so many times, um, but I just, I'm obsessed with their razors. And I always leave my shaving till like I get to the hotel. That's just always been what I do. In my 18 million wash bags, I have my Estrid razor, my wool. I even bring my wool holder with me, guys. <laughs> because I love the wool holder because it stops the like really lubricating bit from getting sticky and then I have my spare razor heads as well. So basically this is an Estrid razor. If you don't know about Estrid razors then where have you been? But basically they've got this like gorgeous um, like metal kind of, what would you call it? The reusable bit, the holder. And you just pop your razor in like that and you just get these as often as you need them. You can cancel anytime, you can pause anytime. They are such a lovely company, it's so easy to use. And this blue bit around the edge is basically super, super lubricating. I don't even use any product with it. They do have a watermelon jelly, which does take it to the next level, but I am a super lazy shaver, so I literally just splash a bit of water on it, I smooth that way. So say you were shaving that way, like I smooth that way first to like activate the lubricating gel, and then I shave and it's just, so easy. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I shave my legs. So welcome to my ASMR shaving lazy girl holiday edition. Everyone was laughing on my stories about why I just used a random cup with water in it. That's just always what I do at home, even though I know I am in a shower and I could just use the shower head, but <laughs> it just works so well. Um, anyway, this time Estrid have given me the most insane code. It's CW free starter kit and you get a free starter kit in this color here, which is matcha, my favorite color. Um, when you purchase the starter kit and become a new subscriber. <laughs> Wow! Next. <laughs> Woo! That was amazing! Genuinely, we didn't know she could do half the alphabet until the other day. Like, what? This is cracking me up. This I always bring, James. This is my free people dress that I always bring as my sundress. Now my boobs are huge. It's turned into a top. <laughs> No, I'm actually gutted about that. So yes, long story short, <laughs> literally, this is now, because of my humongous boobs, 
too short, so we got the shorts on. Oh, I'll short, 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 short. Thank you. Yeah. You do your hat? Yeah. Oh, dear me. We don't like hats, do we? We have to wear them outside, though, okay? So this one it just woke up two seconds after I filmed that um, footage clip, and she was really hungry because she had been asleep for a while, so I thought... With my coccyx, if it's going to be a nice long feed, I was just going to come straight back to the room because we were like two minutes from the room. So James and Amber have gone to look for a restaurant for lunch and we are having a nice long feed um, on my pillow. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I just couldn't imagine feeding her. And I mean, I'm uncomfortable enough sitting on a normal seat in a restaurant. My coccyx is still so, so sore and bruised from falling down the stairs. <sighs> Yeah, we're just gonna have a nice long feed and then go and find James and Amber for some lunch. Fresh, all changed, all full, all happy. Hello, hello, and you, where are you? <laughs> Say hi guys. And you've got a really nice hat on, I'm loving it. Do you like daddy's hat? Yeah, it's Amber's. It's Amber's. Do you want to wear it now? No. <laughs> she hates wearing a hat. Off looking for somewhere for food. Stop. Come to a beautiful restaurant right on the beachfront there. I don't know how good my camera skills are there. It's absolutely stunning here. Just ordering some food. Wow, we <laughs> you excited? Oh, I yeah. know. I'm very excited. So good. Look at you. Spin around. Woo! Let me see your dress. <gasps> what colour is it? No. It's beautiful, just like mummies. We got swishy dresses tonight, don't we? This is red. This is, yeah, should we go that way? You're right, it is that way tonight. This way. <gasps> Which way? This way. Yes, correct. And there's James. He's come in with Mabel. It's a little bit later on now, guys. Um, we had a lovely... <laughs> had a lovely chat in her pot rather than a nap. Yes, so and I lay there. And just went, da, 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 da. Yeah, but I lay there for a good hour. I was like, it's fine, we're just gonna lie here. And she's actually really good. She just sings to herself and stuff. So it was quite sweet. Um, and James lay on the balcony and fell asleep. Yeah, for about an hour on the balcony, it was lovely. Um, and now we're heading out for some food. So the afternoon just kind of went, like it, it, when they wake up a bit later, it just goes so quickly. Um, and they did uh, this morning. So the day's just gone. But yeah, we're going for some food now. I'm wearing my in the style dress that I've literally had for so long. I don't know what I would do without this dress. Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh, thank you. I'm biased. I do love that one particularly. I know, I love it as well. I've worn it for so many like events and things like that. And I just love it. I just feel so confident in it. It's just why I love creating my collections. Um, and I've got a little matching vibe going on with Amber tonight, which I'm very happy about. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> Flinging Please. her dress about. Okay, so we have a huge oh, array. There's a cat. We <gasps> cat. Oh my god, I'm scared of cats, guys. There it is. Don't tell Amber; she'll literally start chasing after it. She is literally right next to me. Um, so we have got this, which I ordered for room service yesterday, and I love it so much. I ordered That's it again. You're going to eat all holiday, isn't it? Now? <laughs> no, I'm just going to keep coming it's back the here. Same pasta. <gasps> which which is? This is all inclusive. And I always think when you get yeah. all inclusive, you have to get the most expensive thing. Oh yeah, yours it's looks really good. So I just get steak. Mate, there's like two and, things and on your plate. You, you just get probably the cheapest thing to make. Look what I've got. Cheese pasta. Cheese pasta. Don't worry, I've got calamari as well <laughs> and some fried lettuce. I can't even cope, guys. I had fried oh, egg you, on fried. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got it. You dropped the pasta on the. Well, that's okay, it was an accident. Um, yes, this morning. <laughs> Just ask you, could I, could I have a fork? We got three forks in Amber's pasta. There we go, do you want that one? I'll have pasta as well. One with no pasta on, there we go, darling. We're literally blowing pasta, taking it in turns and giving it to the toddler. But yeah, this morning I had fried egg. Here we go, here we go, you do it. Fried egg on fried bread, and it was literal, no, fried, fried dough. dough. I don't know why, I just thought it was gonna come as some like toast, and it was actual fried, yeah. it was like a cake. I think everything's deep fried here and I, I am not complaining. We are here for it. We're here for the deep fried vibes. <laughs> Yours is there too. Morning guys. It is now the next day. Say morning guys. Morning guys. Oh. Who are we going to catch? Mabel and Daddy. Mabel and Daddy. Oh, we got to run everywhere. <laughs> yes, good morning guys. We are just on our way to breakfast. James and Mabel headed off so James could put Mabel down in the pram. Um, and me and Amber. It's, sunny. Oh, it's so sunny. What do we need? Daddy Mabel. We do need Daddy and Mabel, yes. I was going for hat, but we also need Daddy and Mabel in our lives. Um, so yeah, the restaurant's right here. Go for some brekkie. Oh my goodness, I'm actually having to put my sunglasses on. It's that sunny. It is beautiful. Woo! 
The sun is out. You got to keep your sun hat on. Do you not want me to put it back on? It's so sunny. Lovely little outfit you've got on today. Got to keep that sun hat on. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> she runs everywhere. Where are we going, Amber? We're going to the park. Woo! Are you dancing? Woo! Dancing. This is the amazing playground they've got, guys. Seriously, they've got like everything here. Come on. Where should we go first? Slide? They've got everything you could possibly need. They've got bouncy castles, football, slides, it's unreal, like swings, so good. And this one, which one? Wait for me. Yes, yeah, so we're all chilling in the kids club now. Amber's on the trampoline, James is over there with her. I'm stood here with Mabel in the pram. Um, I'm in the shade and I'm very happy about it. Also, I had to do an outfit change. I've had to change into another outfit for today. I braved the all white outfit this morning, which is never a good idea. Even before I became a mum, let alone since becoming a mum, but I got a nice baby poo explosion all over the outfit from Mabel whilst I was feeding her. It was everywhere. So um, we've changed. <laughs> On your bum. Whoa! 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 Wow! Are you sitting down, are you? Would you like some juice? Should we have a breather after all that bouncing? What, do you, what would you like to build? Gosh, guys, honestly, there's like so many rooms filled with toys and amazing things. It's just like toddler heaven here. She's loving it. Emma's mesmerized by all the slides. Um, they have this water park as well, which just looks unreal. It's dead at the moment because it's not school holidays, so no one's going on it. I know, Amber, so many slides. This way then, we're going to the beach now. Yeah, James is very excited. He wants to get on all the slides. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go later in the week, definitely. <laughs> we're heading down to the beach at the moment. Um, they've got like another park and stuff down the beach. Our sunbathing days are well and truly over. Yeah. The whole day revolves around parks, the kids' pools, and it's all great. I think the last time we went was, and had a proper sunbathing time, Amber was five months. Yeah, you had a proper child. sunbathing time. She did as well, she, she slept a lot of five months, especially on holiday. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's all the sunbathing, I did all the rocking, feeding. Well, yeah, just sunbathing. Just walking around with her. Mate, I don't even like sunbathing, so I don't even know what I'm on about. I literally. Couldn't think of anything worse. One of the sides is a massive snake. That honestly looks insane. I know. I'm very excited. That looks amazing. But yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful around here. And we are off down there. The Let's beach. Get some food. Yeah, James is excited I'm for the food. So hungry now again. All inclusive vibes just get I you know, starving. Not you, anyone. I'm the same. We've just had breakfast and I feel like I'm ready for a, a huge lunch. And Mabel is still snoozing in the front. This is the little park down by the beach. She's off to have some fun. And so is James. <laughs> So me and Mabel have come into the shade. She's just snoozing in there. It's actually, you can see, it's blowing. It's quite nice. It's quite breezy in here, actually. Um, and then James and Amber are over there in the park. <laughs> I've just ordered us some drinks and we're just chilling. I'm loving the vibes going on in here, guys. Like, I just love the... I just did break off. I don't know why I've literally taken her like two seconds over here with me, but the rustic words, like the, it's got my interior juices flowing. I'm feeling it. A swing, like fixer upper vibes, guys. Should have the rustic table in the swing. There's absolutely no room for that, but still getting my interior juices flowing. It's absolutely stunning down here. some lunch and we got this new little dinosaur yes, game for Amber. You gotta match the no? No, what? What are we missing? Amber's getting a little bit tired oh, now there. guys. Bees. Go straight for a nap after a uh, half a lunch. This is a great game James. It is isn't it? It's yeah, good. Yeah, you have to match the map. Last one. Where does it go? Woohoo! Well done! I found the flower. <laughs> you found the flower. <laughs> you singing your dinosaur song? Floors for the dinosaur. She's so tired. <laughs> this is a dinosaur song my mum always plays for her when she goes to my mum's. Dinosaur! Dinosaur! So we've just had our lunch and that is the view. <laughs> We're singing to the tune. We've been playing Dinosaur Lotto. It's a great day. Bye! See you later! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! 
those doors are so stressful with kids. So we are just, we've just ordered some coffees, but mine's taken five minutes longer because I ordered my oat milk, guys, and it's taken five minutes. Hi, you. Hello. Are you okay? You've been sleeping the whole time, cheeky monster. You've been sleeping. You're just waking up, aren't you? Good morning. Hi. Um, oh, are you going to tell us a story? I remember Amber cooing. It's just like the cutest thing. And like, if you kind of pretend like you can understand them, they get so excited. Well, I think they do anyway. Look at the little hat. It actually fits her. Like, it actually fits a nine-week-old baby. I'm loving all these matching outfits from Linda. Because I was showing you as I was packing them up. And like, they've been wearing their matching tops and hats today. And it just, it just melts me, guys. Seeing them in matching outfits, I cannot wait until they're like... Well, I don't know how old, but like little girls running around together um, in their matching outfits. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's nice, Miles. Okay, should we go? They didn't have my oat milk in the end. So should we go find, should we go find Amber and Daddy? Yeah, let's go. Walking back to the room with Mabel and I just had to call James because I got so lost. And literally the room is right here. And I was lost and I was like a metre away. And I just made a whole hoo-ha of that. That's what happens when you leave me on my own. So, we had a, well, Amber and James had a mammoth afternoon nap. Me and Mabel strolled around doing some, I just did some random stuff on my phone, some editing, some emails, and then also some awake time with Mabel. Um, Where are you off to, Missy? Where are we going? Swimming. Swimming. Wow, look at your swimming costume. What's it got on it? Ice cream. Ice cream. This is so cute, guys. I can't cope. What? <laughs> She's off. Literally running everywhere on this holiday. I cannot keep up. <laughs> She's gone. Which way is it? This way. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> gone. Check you out with your little bag. Your little handbag. Oh, wow. And your little short shorts. I'm loving the swimmers. Of course. I'm ready. We're ready for kids pool Anna's swimming. definitely ready. She's very excited. Are She's so excited. Proper kids pool slides. Yes. Or should we do the beach pool? Oh, let's start with slides. Or okay. no, we should start with beach pool and then move on to slides, I feel. Also, I've got my, I'm just like fully showing them now. I started by sneak peeking the fact I was releasing a bigger boobied in the style swimwear range and now I'm just showing them all because they're the only ones I brought with me. I literally ordered so many swimsuits because I didn't know that I was going to be getting my samples in time. It's so sunny, I know, that's why we got to keep our hats on. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I ordered so many. I, I even got a proper fitted one from Bravissimo. I tried them all on and I felt rubbish in them. All the ones I ordered, I felt rubbish in. The Bravissimo one actually did fit me, but it was just a, a strange fit. Hello. This is your Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. Well, it fitted, but it just felt like not right at all. Like my boobs were literally on my chin, which is nice sometimes, but then it took it too far. It was like almost too supportive. It was weird. Anyway, then my samples arrived. I've never been so happy in my life. All my swimsuits that I've packed are my in the style range, which is releasing in June. Fucking good. These aren't even the final samples, but they are samples. They're good enough to come with me. Can you tell that it's early evening? It's absolutely dead. I know. It's so lovely and quiet. Oh, you found it. <gasps> Woohoo! You're right, you don't need a hat. There's no sun. Turn the trees. Who's colder? <laughs> yeah, the water's cold. I was in this for hours yesterday. Not hours, an hour yesterday with Amber. It's chilly. <laughs> she sounds evil. Mammy's <laughs> 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 I splash you. <laughs> this is what kids don't understand, isn't it? We laugh along with them yeah. splashing us, and then other times we're like, don't splash me. I know. <laughs> right, we're going up the slide, up the stairs. Ready? Go. Oh. She's going to slide into the cold water. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you want me to help you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. The slide's too small for mummy. Mummy's too big! Mummy's too big! <laughs> this way! What? This way! Which way's to the slide? This way! Mm, I'm waiting! <laughs> Silly <laughs> mummy! Silly mummy! <laughs> 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 That's so good! That's so fun! Did you like it? It goes fast! It goes fast! Amber do it! Amber do it! Mummy's too big! 
<laughs> Mummy's too big. <laughs> yes. There are big slides for Mummy. She could go on them, but... <laughs> Why are you so excited? <laughs> she's, she's like a bit... <laughs> you're, you're excited and cold, aren't you? Are you cold? Yeah. yeah. No, you're not. Ah! No. <laughs> Is no. it cold? No. No? Yes. Yes, I think so. It's hot. It's hot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're trying to convince yourself it's hot. Mabel's giving her feet a little splish splash. Splish splash, splish splash. Splish splash. Mabel's dipping her feet in. Oh, Amber, that's so lovely. Wow, good rocking. Look at the jumps. Okay. It's a little bit later on now. James and Amber have gone for a stroll. They left me and Mabel here. I just put Mabel down to sleep in the pram and got ready myself. Um, I get too distracted by the toddler guys. <laughs> I can never get ready in time. Um, I'm just wearing this little dress, guys, that James got me in the Husband Buys My Outfits video for holiday. The pockets. Who remembers this dress with the pockets? I was obsessed and I love it and I just feel so comfortable in it. I'm giving my In The Style dresses a rest tonight by wearing one that isn't one of my collection pieces. Um, but I love it so much. It is so, so gorgeous. And I just, I'm just struggling at the moment to find things. I think it just might be, I don't know, my boobs, my, I don't know, I think I've gone upper size. I just feel like I'm in that awkward lingo stage where every time I try something on, I'm just like, don't feel good and don't feel confident and this dress I just feel really really good in so yeah it's just one of those like you gotta try and remove the emotion from it like it's not about you it's just about how those clothes are fitting you and um, it doesn't always have to be such well it feels like it does I freaking know that and even though I know that I still think like that so I'm talking to myself as much as I'm talking to you guys or anyone that needs to hear it but we need to remove that emotion of like trying something on and if it's too tight we feel uncomfortable or it doesn't look good we straight away hate ourselves it's like negative you know just like so much horrible talk towards ourselves when actually we just need to remove that emotion and just factually state okay this doesn't fit me okay you know, I'm not a fan of this piece of clothing and move on. I know it's so freaking hard and I talk to myself like that all the time still, um, but I have come such a long way with it and I do more often than not, you know, pause and say, okay, this piece is not honoring my body right now. It doesn't really matter why, it's just not working for me and that's fine, I can just put that to rest and move on. You're, you're not designed, you're not created to fit into clothing. Clothing is made to fit you. It's just the wrong size, shape, not right for your body and that's cool, that's just factual, you know? It doesn't have to be emotional. I'll leave you with that. I'm trying to think like that at the moment um, as well, so we're working on it. Self-love is a freaking journey and if you're not even at a point of self-love, just work on self, I don't know why I'm now rambling to you guys and ranting to you guys. Look, I'm sitting down for a chit chat and a cup of tea when actually I've set the deadline as half eight that I need to meet, meet James and Amber. We got five minutes, it's fine. <laughs> what was I saying? If you're not in a place where self-love is achievable for you right now, because let's be honest, the reality is it's not always achievable, especially when you've been through body changes or even if you haven't, self-love just doesn't feel achievable, you know, sometimes and that's okay. Well, it's body neutrality you can google it if you want to look into it it's a really cool concept it's just more about being accepting and understanding of like our body and just neutral it doesn't we don't have to love it but we don't have to hate it because the worst or the main focus for me on self-love really is about removing the hate and that in turn obviously leads to love but it doesn't have to it can lead to neutrality it can lead to just okay i don't like how my legs look but my legs are freaking cool, they carry me every day, um, you know, I'm so grateful for them and they are legs <laughs> and they're my legs and that's cool, you can leave it at that. You don't have to love your legs but you also don't have to hate your legs because that is not the type of energy that you need in your life, it's like constantly hating on your body. Um, you know, you can just kind of be neutral and just like leave it at that. I know it's, again, it's like easier said than done, but it's something like a really cool concept that when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't have to go around hating everything about my body all the time. Like I can just kind of be neutral about it and move on with my life. Yeah, so 
that's another little thing. Anyway, I really can't chit chat. You guys know I could like freaking have an hour long chit chat with you about self love, but we're off for food now. We're going to the buffet. So a bit more of a chilled vibe tonight. Got my bag, got my baby. She's down in the pram. <laughs> Good idea not to forget the baby. What else am I gonna take? Water, got it. Let's go guys. Emma has the cutest little outfit on. Oh, thank you darling. Cutest outfit on tonight. Look at that. We're matching in our floral flowies. Orange. Yeah, what colour's mine? Pink. Oh, what colour's yours? Pink. Yours is lots of colours. Yeah. <gasps> so cute, the little details. I'm obsessed. We're at the buffet. It's one of those like... Hello, my what have you got? Chips. Chips. <laughs> um, it's like one of those really busy, hectic buffets. Mm -hmm. Thank you huge buffet there's so many people and we just got amber her food and we're just kind of feeding her food and james was like do you want me to go get you a selection of bits he's like i've seen some bits you'll like i was like yeah it makes me so anxious going into such a busy buffet i don't know if it comes from like the same thing of like ordering coffees or like making decisions i don't know if it like ties into my dyslexia or what but i just struggle so much with like making decisions under pressure I don't know, buffets, just anxiety inducing. So, James is going to get me a selection of food. He knows me so well. So it'll be all the best foods I could have chosen for myself. Um, and I've come such a long way with my anxiety, but it's not that I couldn't go. I obviously, like, I have gotten to a point where I, I, could, I was, wasn't even thinking about, you know, getting James to do that. I can do it, it just gives me anxiety. But it's a nice treat once in a while. James to do it for me and I can look after this one. Mm. That's what I was saying this the other day as well, that things are so much easier with your kids when, you're, when you've got your kids with you. Like if you go into a shop with your kids with you or a coffee shop where they're with you, you kind of like are so focused on putting them first. My anxiety just like melts away. So I find that really good since having her. That's what he's gone for. I am loving it. Orange juice. I know you're having orange juice. I can't get over these because they got like little flares on them. They're so cute. Right, what juice do we have in? Orange juice. Or apple juice. Which one? Apple. Apple. You keep changing your mind every five seconds. Um, orange juice. Cranberry juice. Oh. Orange juice. Okay, orange juice. It. Orange juice. It is. <laughs> we both got matching bags now. <laughs> So we are off to find the evening show. Where are we going, oh, Ams? We might get there for the second half. <laughs> yeah, they've got some evening entertainment on, so we're gonna see if we can go and catch it. We're eating so much chocolate cake. We <laughs> I know, we were eating dessert. Yeah. She's still running everywhere. Off she goes. Look at the lights in the sky, Amber. Can you see them? Oh. See lots of lights and disco music. I have a feeling like we're gonna get there and it's gonna be like over 18's rave or something and we're gonna turn up with a toddler and a newborn, like, any space for us, guys? Can we go on the dance floor? Hello, boogie. <laughs> what? I see more lights. You see more lights? Wow. There's a lot over there. It's red. <gasps> it is red. Wow, we have no idea what we're heading into, guys, but we're dancing along the way, aren't we, Amber? Dancing. Woo! I can dance. You can't dance, why? Guys, I have no idea what we're doing. Uh -oh. Reality, someplace. Uh oh, this way. That's such mum dancing. That is such mum dancing. Yeah, where's Boom. mommy? Mommy. There I am. So we've left the party. We're heading back to the room. It's far too loud. <laughs> far too loud. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, we're heading back to the room. Anyway, we're gonna love you and leave you guys. We are all knackered, ready for another fun day of holiday tomorrow. What are we gonna do tomorrow, Amber? Gymnastics. <gasps> We're going to go all the way back to Cardiff and do to some go gymnastics. To our gymnastics lessons. Then come all the way back for the rest of the day. Oh, I wonder if she knows it. Is it actually a Thursday tomorrow? She does go to gymnastics on a Thursday. 
I think that's a coincidence that she said that. She says it every morning. Though, yeah. Actually. What do you want to do today? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. <laughs> Maybe like a mom. Oh, I used to do gymnastics, guys. I absolutely loved it. Anyway, um, we'll love you and leave you guys. See you soon in the next vlog. Love you so much. See you Bye. soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>